There's a controversy brewing in Hilliard schools over badges in the classroom, and now it's being taken to court. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with an attorney representing parents who say the badges teachers are, teachers are wearing are creating conversations that are not appropriate. Ashley's live in studio tonight with this story. Ashley. Andrew Yolanda, attorney Josh Brown tells me eight parents are alleging the Hilliard City School District is allowing parents and teachers to have intimate, inappropriate conversations with students that has already led to a very dangerous situation. Parents tonight argue the badges that read safe person, safe space are not safe at all. Clients feel like their constitutional rights are being violated. Attorney Josh Brown argues that teachers are being encouraged to solicit inappropriate sexual conversations with students as young as six years old by voluntarily wearing the LGBTQ I'm Here badges given by the National Education Association to tell students they are available for safe and inclusive conversations. And that information is uh, being withheld and hidden affirmatively from those parents. Brown says the parents wrote a letter to the superintendent and legal counsel requesting the school's policy on sharing the information with the parents. Uh, they refused to state what their policy was. They said they have a default position of letting the parents know, but there's no such thing as a default position. Brown argues not disclosing these intimate conversations has already led to a very dangerous outcome. The, the parents were contacted one day and told that the student was suicidal at school. And when they got to the school and talked to the social worker, they were told that the school was uh, counseling and treating the child for gender dysphoria and never informed the parents. The lawsuit states school leaders and several teachers were, quote, treating the daughter as a boy while their daughter was at school. The parents claimed they were not aware of any gender dysphoria and they were, quote, shocked to learn that she may be suffering some mental health issues and say teachers withheld that information from the parents. They feel scared that what happened to the one young lady could happen to other children as well. I asked Brown, would this be different if the student was approaching a counselor? The district distinguishes, as we do, between counselors and teachers. Counselors are supervised, they're trained to handle this. Teachers are being uh, instructed by the teachers union specifically to hide this information from parents and how to do it. Now, Brown says the parents do not want money. What they do want is this lawsuit to set a precedent for teachers to stop wearing the badges and having intimate conversations with students without parental consent. Now, we reached out to Hilliard Schools and they tell us they have not read the lawsuit, so the district is unable to comment at this time. You might remember back in September, the Hilliard Education Edu Association, which represents the teachers, issued a statement saying the badges are needed to give support to LGBTQ plus students who may need it or are in crisis and need a trusted adult to help.